diving right on into the action of night. I'm TJ Bradley, and welcome to Friday Night Smackdown. We've got our Intercontinental Champion here, making our way to the ring, accompanied by Lita. We saw Trish Stratus at Extreme Rules defend her belt against Ember Moon, despite interference from Abaddon. And that was thanks in no small part to Lita. And Trish planned ahead and came out on top. And she is still our Intercontinental Champion. What has she got to say here tonight? These two seem to be on the same page here. They're old rivals, but it looks like they're working in unison here. And how about that? Trish is offering out an opportunity here tonight. It's Natalia who's going to take advantage of this opportunity. We've seen her in the past going for the United States title. In fact, she was hounding Bailey at one point in the hopes of getting her hands on that belt. And Bailey, incidentally, has lost the United States title belt, which we saw on SmackDown last week and which was confirmed on Raw when JC Jane returned to help Gigi Dolan retain the United States title. Now let's see what Natalia can do here tonight. Natalia comes straight in, Stop suplex, nice stuff there. First old leg drag takedown. Now Trish stomping down on Natalia. And here we go, Lita at ringside here supporting her friend. And you gotta think that these two have come to an agreement which will allow them to team up here in the LCW universe. And with their combined experience, they could be a fearsome team. And the challenger with a kick to the midsection and a shot. And now going for another snap suplex takes Trish over. Good work by Natalia. And a good chop to the chest. And look at this, but Trish blocks that and comes back. Oh, and then highly acrobatic takes Natalia down. And the champion is going to the top rope. And she flies. Great stuff from Trish Stratus. And Lita is looking impressed here. Hang on a minute. That's Bianca Belair coming through the crowd. What is she doing here? And it's a spear takedown on Lita. Oh my god. And she is beating on her here. What the hell is this all about? Bianca throws Lita into the barricade and swings a big boot into her gut. Oh my god, what is this all about? And Lita sent into the barricade once again. And Trish still going well in the ring. But Bianca sends Lita over the barricade this time. And they're fighting out through the crowd here. Bianca is really taking it to Lita here. And I just don't understand where this is coming from. Good suplex in the ring by Trill. And look at this, they are making their way deep into the crowd here. And suddenly it's one on one in the ring, and Lita is looking dazed on the outside. Oh, and those headbutts. And Trish is seeing what's going on, and she's heading out to help her friend. Oh, but hang on. Now we got China making her way to the ring. And Natalia is prone in the center of the ring. And now we got Bianca and Trish fighting. And this is chaos. What a way to kick our SmackDown. I don't know what any of this is all about. 
Trying to lift the Nicole here. And look at this, what strength from our WWE champion has been for just beats Trish right around the arena. Natalia sent down to the floor by China. And she didn't look in good state here. And I don't know what's happening with this match. But China is glaring down in Natalia. And it doesn't look like a challenger wants any part of our WWE champion. Natalia's out of here. And then China's following her. She, no, she's just making sure she's leaving. And Bianca heading back to the ring after dealing with Trish. And maybe we'll find out what this is all about. And no, Bianca, the crowd are not pleased to see you. We were in the middle of a title match here. And you two have well and truly interrupted. Let's find out what this is all about. DX are clearly sore about losing the tag titles at Extreme Rules. We saw Mia Yim and Sonya Deville reclaim the titles. And it's clear that the Generation X are bringing Stephanie McMahon for this. And on Monday night, we heard from the general manager that Raquel Gonzalez is suspended indefinitely. That she's not allowed at the arena to either compete, spectate, support, anything. And that is because she put her hands on Stephanie McMahon at Extreme Rules. And Stephanie was taking a very hard line with this. And they are threatening to interrupt every title match that we try to put on here until Raquel has her suspension lifted and until DX has their tag titles back in their grasp. And it'll be a cold day in hell before Stephanie McMahon allows that to happen. But she certainly will line them up for a match tonight. And that'll be a chance for Trish and Lita to get a little bit of revenge for whatever the hell we've just seen out here. And Abaddon is in the building. She returned with extreme rules. And what an extreme superstar she is. But wait a minute. There's Gigi Dolan, who is responsible for Abaddon being on the shelf with a separated shoulder. Remember, though, Abaddon and Shayna lost their match at Clash at the Castle, which means she cannot touch anyone from Toxic Attraction. What the hell is going to happen here? Oh, Abaddon showing some self-control for once. And she's out of there. Hang on a minute, that's Lana. And Abaddon is still seething. Lana, I don't know what you want to be talking to her. Oh boy, look at that. Abaddon taking out her frustration on Lana here. Lana, who is just asking about Abaddon's injured shoulder. And I think we can see here that it sure as hell ain't all that bad. Because Abaddon is opening a can of whoop ass here. Look at that powerbomb on the concrete in the backstage area. And an elbow to Lana. And she'll be regretting opening her mouth. And it looks like Abaddon is leaving her to it. Wait a minute, no she isn't. She's gone for a steel chair and heading back to Lana. For God's sake, Abaddon. What the hell has Lana done to you? Oh my God. What a shot with that chair. Right to the head of Lana. And thankfully, Abaddon drops the chair. But she ain't done with Lana here. Man, this is ridiculous. This ain't a match. She's got no personal problem with Lana here. This is just the epitome of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. And look at that. Another huge slam on the concrete. And Lana is going to be injured here. Abaddon with the chair once again. And she is wearing out Lana. And oh my god. Can we not get someone back there to help Lana? This is an unprovoked attack. I mean, I'm going for a suplex, is she? Oh my gosh, she's going to drop Lana all the way from that height out there on the concrete floor. This is just the damn parking lot, the backstage area. Oh my god, and look at that gate shaking. What in the hell? Are you doing this for Abaddon? Yes, you're frustrated. Yes, you're being out injured. But that ain't Lana's fault. And dear God, she's going for another suplex here. And look at this, lands it once again. 
Lana will have internal injuries. Dear God. Abaddon, oh, just wrenching at her ears there, lifting her up. And Lorna doesn't know where she is right now. And Abaddon, again, oh my god. <laughs> no, they got a little ahead of Lorna. And she's picking her up. And going for a power bomb one more time. Oh my god. And Lorna is well and truly done here. And Abaddon looks furious. And it's a pretty terrifying prospect to have her back here in the FCW universe. Let's focus though on the match we got up coming out here. It's gonna be Rhea Ripley taking on the genius of the sky. And Rhea has been in and out of action lately. We haven't got Liv Morgan accompanying her here, but she will be looking to take out Io Sky, who has been impressive since returning from injury herself. And don't forget, the main event tonight will be Trish Stratus and Lita, taking on the team of China and Bianca Belair, and that'll be coming up after this match. Rhea here, looking confident. And the crowd are sensing she means business tonight. She just dampened herself up. But Io is going to be a tough challenge for her. Io won't have the strength advantage here. Rio is a powerful athlete. But Io is high octane. And we've seen in recent weeks her high flying action can take her an awful long way. She was so impressive on Monday night when she won a fatal foray, which included, let us not forget, Rhea Ripley. And here she comes. The genius of the sky. She's always a great watch. And the fans here showing their appreciation. This one is going to be a real clash of styles. Rhea didn't look too concerned. Neo stretching out, looking to get going here fast, I'm sure. And they meet in the center of the ring. Rhea, oh, look at that snap no takedown immediately, showing her dominance. And a drop kick to the face. Now Rhea doing a bit of high flying action herself. From the top turn off a big splash down onto Neo. And just stomping down on her here. And there's every chance that Rhea will just run the smaller superstar over. Big shots to the head there on the floor. Now look at these knees, oh my god. Rhea is dishing out the punishment early here. And all of these blows will be slowing Eo down. But Eo manages to avoid the leg drop there. And now she's coming after Rhea. Oh, good forearm there, sends her to the floor. And Eo straight to the top turnbuckle. But misses her moonsault, it was too early though. And now Rhea back on top of her. And she'd love to make this a ground wrestling match. Where she can use her strength. And it's a leg drop and this time she hits it. And now pounding on Eo once again. And Rhea is not looking to hang around here. If this continues, Eo is going to be right for the plucking any moment. Up to her shoulders, oh and a big slam. And that could be it. Is Rhea going to go for the cover? She isn't. She wants to inflict more damage. And she's looking focused tonight. At her best. Rhea can be demented. She can be clinical. And it looks like that's the version we're seeing here tonight. Kick to the midsection. Going for a pump handle powerbomb here. And a good cover. But no, Rio manages to kick out. And Rhea's still got work to do here. We have seen in the past that Io is one of the most resilient superstars here in the LCW universe. It takes a lot to put her away. Rhea misses a drop kick there. And then what a knee from Io right to the jaw of Rhea. Oh look at this, Rhea Ripley back to her feet. Neo going for a suplex here. Oh, front first. And Rhea meets the mat. And it ain't a meat in the minds there. That one's got to hurt. 
but it really gets a boot up and slows EO down again. A hair drag takedown. This hasn't been a pretty match, but it sure as hell been effective for Rail. And now she's going for that submission maneuver. Is EO going to be able to reach the ropes? Will she be able to escape? Or is this one going to be done? Rhea really using her power here. But no, has to let it go. And hits the leg instead. And that's it. We are done. Rhea Ripley with a very one-sided victory here. Rhea Sky just never got going. She didn't get an opportunity to use her aerial offense. The one time she went to the top rope, she missed a moonsault. And Rhea has turned in one hell of a performance here. Great stuff from the Australian superstar. And this may kickstart her LCW career. And don't forget folks, we got the main event coming up in just a few moments time. Rhea lapping up the applause here. But who will be lapping up the applause? After Lita and Trish have taken on D Generation X in the form of China and Bianca Belair. Before that, though, let me remind you that if you've missed Extreme Rules, all five matches are available to watch now on the FCW YouTube channel. It was bloody, it was brutal, and it was fantastic. Make sure you go back and have a look at those matches if you haven't seen them. But right now we've got our main event ready to go. And Trish and Bianca meeting in the middle of the ring. Bianca, oh look at this. A reverse powerbomb, what a way to open up. And Trish and Lita cannot be at 100% after that attack by Bianca earlier tonight. But both of these women are great competitors. They're going to come out here and give it everything they've got. And they'll relish the opportunity to get a bit of revenge on Bianca and China. And Trish is looking in a fair amount of trouble already. Bianca is such an impressive professional. And even if you're at 100%, she has a whole lot to handle. Now look at this, what a move. But no, Bianca manages to counter and avoid that neck breaker. Trish so far can run a whole board. And that was a fantastic move. And a flying clothesline. And will she bring Lita into it here? No, she goes for an elbow. She wants to inflict as much damage as possible onto Bianca. And now we've got Lita coming into the ring. This is her first official action in the SCW universe. Hang on a minute, that's Becky Lynch. And she's coming through the crowd. And what's she doing here? The crowd ain't having her at all. Now, in a minute, she's going for the Intercontinental title belt. Oh my god! And cleans the champion out here. Oh, what the hell is this all about? Are DX just pathologically incapable of having a fair fight here? Bianca now. We lead it by the hair. Lead it, throwing elbows at Bianca. And I don't think she knows what's going on outside of the ring at this point. Becky is wearing out Trish. And look at that. Great stuff from Lita. But she's got no one to tag to here. Becky. Throwing Trish into the barricade. And we're three on two here. And this just ain't right. Becky lifting Trish up. And throws her into the barricade once again. And Trish is looking in all sorts of trouble. In the ring, I think Lita might have realized that her partner is not on the apron. He's not available for a power. Becky and Trish now fighting out among the crowd. And Becky, what's she going for here? Probably oh, reverse DDT on the hard concrete floor. And ladies, extreme rules this last weekend. What the hell is this all about? The crowd absolutely loving it. This is great action. But it's not great action if you're a Trish or Lita here. Now Becky throwing Trish across the floor, but no, Trish manages to stop herself. And it's a drop kick. A drop kick from the man. And now throwing Trish across the floor once again. 
and she's well and truly taking her out of the action here. Now I wonder what's Becky going for. Oh my god, it's gonna be a German suplex. Oh that Taylor, god damn it. God damn it. And Trish has been taken out here by Becky. And now she's going for a chair on the rep. Has not seen any of this. And they're way away from the ring now. And it looks like Lita is gonna have to finish this match against both China and Bianca on the road. And I don't like her chances. But more do I like the state of Trish right here. Becky has absolutely brutalized her. And she loves it. She's celebrating to the crowd who are not impressed with this one bit. And Trish getting to her feet. Stay down, Trish. Oh, and falling into the barricade. And Becky is really unloading here. And our intercontinental champion. And going to the crowd once again. Back in the ring, Lita struggling a hand with China and Bianca. And they're just breaking out of those here. We've got Hawthorne facing off against Lita here. And the ref has completely lost control. Bianca, the leader high above her head, and drops her down to the canvas. And now, wait a minute. Oh, China knocks Lita right out of Bianca's grip. But Bianca off the ropes. Oh, Lita manages to get her knees up though. And she's going, she'll give it a go. China celebrating prematurely here. Oh, 15 minutes action, good stuff from Lita. China, the WWE champion, whips Lita off into the corner. And he lifts her to the top rope. Shot to the face. And the champion is hidden up there. What's this going to be? Oh, Lita fighting back. And shoves China to the mat. And now, are we going to see? Oh, the moonsault. The moonsault from the middle rope. And that's taking a lot out of Lita. And Bianca's right there to close in on her. And he's trying to raise out of the ring to recover. Bianca has Lita up. And the rest count in China. And I guess the leader could still win by counter up here. That'd be a way to do it. Bianca though looking for the cover. And that breaks the ref's count. And is this one done? No. Leader, to her credit, manages to kick out. And she wants more of these two. Bianca up to the top rope. And China just calling the plays here. And that's gotta be at the 450 splash. And we be D-Generation X win here, but that was hardly a fair fight. There was China, Bianca and Becky taking on Lita and Trish. And the ref just missed the man coming in and taking Trish away from the action. And Lita was left all on her own with two giants of all business. And these two love it. They may not have had Raquel reinstated tonight, but they certainly made their point. And I'm sure Stephanie was backstage absolutely furious about this. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you on Monday Night Raw.